Welcome back to The Big Picture. We're having a discussion about the Alleyway Theater and the annual production of A Christmas Carol. And with me is Roger Van Dett, who plays a ro well, several, several roles in the production. And he's, you've been with the production for several years. Uh, Neil Radish, is, he's uh, the brains behind this whole thing. It's his production. He designed it. He's been going with it for 37 years. Tell me a little bit more about Neil and, and what he does in, in some of the productions other than this that he's, he's produced and that he continues to write and produce. Neil is a man of the theater. I, I don't know that there's anything he can't do. During rehearsals, every once in a while, he'll just drop into a time step and tap dance. Oh, I didn't even know he could dance. Yeah. <laughs> and he can. And uh, it's, uh, what I know about Neil, my, my experience with him, I, I saw a production that he directed when I was 16. Mm. And uh, it, Little Mary Sunshine. And mm. uh, it was tremendous. Hysterical. I enjoyed it so much. And I, he was one of those people I thought, I wish I could work with. And of course, I left. But uh, Neil Raddus can write plays. Neil Raddus can write music. Neil Raddus can arrange. He can, uh, he has written f opera. He has written uh, short plays, long plays. I've done a, several of his. Night work uh, was a play of his, which was about a relative uh, whose case went to the Supreme Court allowing women to work uh, longer hours. Um, he designs the sets. He in many cases has constructed the sets. Uh, he is terrific at lighting shows. Well, I'll tell you what, it, you know, when you have someone who has a creative mind like that, it, it's, it's a blessing, it's also a curse because what else can they do? <laughs> I mean, such a creative mind yes. is, is made for this kind of a business. Yeah. You know, to do all those things, so it's a blessing that he's found this vocation because I don't know what else he would do with his life. Absolutely. All these talents fit so perfectly in what he does. And he, he took what was the bus station. Right. Yeah, a beautiful absolutely. building turned into the police station and he was given the, the building and what he's done with it, he has two theaters in there and he has a conference room and an art gallery, a beautiful lobby and it all retains the original design which is so beautiful. And that's the very definition of creativity. Absolutely. That, 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 that follows suit. It's, it's, it's perfect. Um, what are some of the other plays, speaking of that, that, that uh, L.A. Way does, if you know, during the course of the year? Is well, that just coming about up Car Christmas Carol? This season, uh, right now currently, uh, the Golden Girls, the holiday edition, is running in the smaller theater, which we call the Cabaret. Hmm. And if you're going to buy a ticket, buy it now, because uh, I had heard earlier this week that there were uh, 20 tickets left for the run, very low amount. Uh, Factory for Murder is coming up. That's a murder mystery. Uh, uh, Scotch and Madness. Uh, Buffalo Quickies, which uh, is directed by Joyce Stilson. And that's a regular, right? That that's a regular. Yeah. Okay. And, this, and this is a 20th or 30th year of that. It's a collection of uh, one-act plays and uh, it's always wonderful to watch. Mm. I've been in it a couple times, and it's fun to do and fun to watch. Then, at the end of the season, uh, we're lucky to get uh, Imagine the World Made Over. This is a, uh, a collection of Neil Raddus's music going all the way back mm. and uh, making a um, evening of all that music. I'm looking forward to that. Wow. I can't wait to see it. Now, with all these plays, the, a little bit about community, the theater community in Western New York, there's a, a very tight-knit group of uh, actors and, uh, you know, creative writers, uh, people who take part and make this a quality experience throughout, with all the theaters in Western New York. Is it very common for the actors to take part in all the different venues? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And, you know, actors have to uh, after they audition, commit to a role and then stay with that and not say jump ship to another, another theater because that theater is now moving in that direction. But a lot of actors uh, go all throughout uh, the Buffalo area. In fact, they have, uh, I think it's the Theater Alliance of Buffalo. They have uh, an, a, a couple days to audition 
for many of the theaters, not mm -hmm. all participant, but many, mm -hmm. and then a lot of casting comes out of that. Yeah. A lot of talent here, right? Yes. I mean, this is a very talented area, Western New York. Right. It, it's not something that, you know, you're not going to make a living as a full-time actor in Western New York, but it's it's a it's a vocation. It's something that people yes. love, right? Yes, and you know what? I, I think that we have to also say that if a potter makes pottery and it is something that's valued, it's professional. If an actor in Buffalo is hitting all those marks, they are a professional actor. You know, whether they're, whether they're getting, uh, say, an equity amount. When people come to the theater, and as you say, you, you greet them afterwards, uh, you do the Christmas carols beforehand in this particular uh, presentation, yeah. what kind of comments do you get? Are there any unusual stories that you have when people talk to you afterwards or, or beforehand? Any, anything comes to mind? Unusual. Um, a, a lot of people will comment, uh, if we do Silent Night, we do the German version. Some people will say, you know, oh. my grandmother used to sing that to me. Mm -hmm. uh, it was nice to hear it again. It's got to um, be an emotional thing, right? Yeah, yeah, because uh, the, the, the carols we do, the carols are not just any carols. They are Victorian, Edwardian mm -hmm. era, and they're arranged mm -hmm. in that way. Uh, so, uh, I, getting back to your question, which was what? <laughs> well, it really, it, I, I've been there before the show starts, and, mm. and the caroling really sets the mood. Uh, it, 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 and everybody's in costume. Yes. And it just, it seems like you're back in time listening to that. And it really get, makes you kind of warm and fuzzy. <laughs> it really yes. is a good feeling just actually going into the play. It, it, it's, yeah. it's a good uh a good mood uh, yes. creator. I, th I think our, our, our uh, quartet, especially this year, Emily Yancey, Lauren McGowan, David Poole, and myself, we're all of, all of the same type of uh, personality where we're positive, we want people to come in and enjoy, and I think that, that does a crossover, although there's small children that sometimes are still afraid of a great big beard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that's led to a couple of stories too, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, for a uh, Christmas present, I, I brush this great big beard, which I start in like October, <laughs> and uh, I brush it out so it's a bit bigger. And I was brushing it out one, one time, and I noticed that Tiny Tim was watching me very, very anxious eyes. <laughs> And so, in an actor voice, I said, said to the, the little boy, does the beard scare you? <laughs> and the little boy looked up at me and said, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nothing like a little, um, you know, pre, uh, in, in, you know, interaction with yeah. the, uh, the cast. Okay. Oh, I, I always have a lot of fun with the kids. Mm -hmm. uh, our dressing room has a lot of clothing and a lot of people, but uh, my time with them is always, I always have fun with them every year. Mm -hmm. And when the, when the new kids come to try out for yeah. the show, uh, what kind of experience is that like? I mean, is it just Neil that sits there and Joyce that, you know, kind of judge and, and cast it? Uh, I believe that, that Joyce uh, Stilson does the initial search for kids. Mm -hmm. And uh, for instance, uh, we had one little girl who was in a, uh, was cast in a show last season, and she now is in uh, A Christmas Carol. Uh, Tyle, uh, what is her name? Her name is... Um, Oh, Kiva, where are you? Kiva Kruger and Noah Balecki and Joe Balecki play uh, her brothers, mm. Uh, mm. and they're they're tremendous. She's mm. such a doll. This has got to be an interesting experience for young people to come in and take part in this. Absolutely, because you know you have to learn about you know backstage, for instance, mm. if a character is coming off uh, stage and there is a wall and there are actors, you're going to have a problem. So. Mm. Actors will say you have to flatten out against the wall. So that's one of the things you teach the kids. That's interesting. Very interesting. Well, you know, we, we just have a minute left. Uh, what would you say to the people out there who are watching, who haven't yet experienced this, or theater in general mm -hmm. in Western New York, how would you encourage them to come out and take part in, in this experience? You have to be open to the possibility that you have to, when you watch theater, understand that this art form happens as if you are in the room with them. And so you have to listen carefully and watch. I think it's a very, it's a very fulfilling experience 
to, to watch theater. Some people will never get it. They, they, just, they, they ju just don't like it. It's, there are a few people who don't like football, I hear. So, you know, that's just the way that that is. But this is an institution. This is a holiday event that's been going on for so many years. We, I see children come back with their parents, and I've actually seen them grow up. Well, you know, it, it, talking as a family man, this is part of what life is all about, sharing memories, creating memories with your family, with your friends, with your loved ones. And there's no better way to create a memory than to sample, to experience something like this. This is a, this is a once in a lifetime type of event, the Christmas Carol, the way it's put on here at the alleyway. Uh, it, it really is special. You take your young kids to experience it. It moves, it, it's, it's not boring in any way, shape, or form. So if you're ever going to experience theater, this is the way to do it. This is a tremendous introduction to what Buffalo has to offer. And this is a good time of the year to share that with the people that you care about. It really is. And now, we're out of time now for the big picture. I want to thank Roger Vandette for being my guest and wish you all the best thank you. for this production. It goes through December 22nd. December 22nd, go okay. to alleyway.com for tickets. There's no service charge. Okay, well, there you have it. You know, take it in. It's great experience. Thank you so much for watching The Big Picture. And as always, thank you for watching WBBZ TV. Have a great holiday season. We'll see you next time. Fast away the old year passes, la 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 la. Hail the new year, lads and lasses, la 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 la. Sing, rejoice, fall.